name is Lee. Welcome to Life and Shit, a weekly video series wherein I talk about life and shit. There are so many things that go through my head when people ask me, What do you do for a living? I sit on my bed and cry because there are people out there more willing to spend $5 on a cup of coffee they're going to shit out in the next two hours instead of spending that $5 on an artist who has put the last 10 years of their life into making something. We have this idea that you both should and shouldn't pursue some kind of creative career. On the one hand, Yay, creativity and art and shit. But then on the other hand, Oh no, don't quit your day job. When I first started out doing the whole music thing, I started venturing from the open mic into the gig scene. I really started experiencing that idea of exposure. Oh, come play a gig for us. We can't pay you, but it'll be great exposure. Thanks, that's great, but exposure's not edible. And I cannot sleep under a roof made out of exposure. You kind of have to learn pretty quickly how to live comfortably in both the business and the creative world so that when someone comes to you and says, Hello, I like you. Will you art for me? Then you can say, Yes, I like you too. And I will art for you. This is typically how much I charge. Because it isn't in that moment just about you. It is also about setting a precedent that, with a few exceptions aside that we each kind of make on our own, we do not work for free. We need to band together and work as a team to establish a sense of normalcy for artsy people being paid. And not just, oh, cool, you knit a hat, I'm going to give you $10 for it. Don't get all up in arms about paying $30 to $50 for a handmade, one-of-a-kind, individually crafted item. They are not Walmart. They cannot just mass produce shit at the drop of a hat. Those are called sweatshops. Those are not okay. I guess for me, the most important thing about having a creative career is it can't be for the money. And it's weird to say that because I'm like, I gotta pay my bills. But when it comes down to it, Whatever you are doing, you really have to want to do it. And not just because it's hard and some days you won't make any money at it and some days you'll feel like, I should just give up because nobody likes what I do and I don't even really like what I do sometimes, so screw this, I'm just going to go work at Starbucks for the rest of my life. Screw everybody else. You have to want to do it for you. And that's life. And shit. It's too quiet in here. Hmm? You can't with your tail in my face. Cat. Cat.